So you've got this empty plan right now, but you don't have nothing. So what we are going to do is we are going to add rooms. So under architecture, under room, all right, pick on this. And Revit can do certain wondrous things here. Like for example, notice, look at my screen. If I move my mouse over this, you will find that, hey, Revit automatically draws a blue boundary along these areas here. Do you see this? Okay. What it does is it has this automatic boundary detection function written into the code. So what would happen is it will define, we will look for the four defining walls and close things up. And for which it becomes a roof, so to speak. Now, depending on how the family is being configured, now this is what I call a an annotation family is paid up for tags. These things come with by default at this moment. You will see a few things. You will see this. This is what we call the room name. You will see this. This is the tag number. You will see this. This is the area count meter square m2 all right and with this you can actually select this tag itself click on edit type and if you notice here it says the family belongs to the room tag family and the type has been reconfigured to be called room tag with area all right now, you see down here, there are two things. Show room number and show area. This is only useful if you are doing a studio presentation or a technology presentation, for example. Alright, how do we do this? Sometimes it's necessary for us in a plan to show how big that room is for costing purposes also. Construction in our line of work is all about dollars and cents. It's always about the money. That's the thing. So that's why we talk about this. Okay? Now, if you uncheck these things and click OK, you will end up with a nothing but room name. That's it. Alright? So, there is the thing. But right now, for exercise purposes, we are going to go inside and activate these components here. So you will end up with a room name, a room number, and room area. You will notice by default, your exercise file, if you are sharp, you will be asking, Hey John, what's going on? How come the number is 4 and not 1? In this case, never mind, it's only a formality. Change it back to 1 for now. Alright? Don't worry about the room names. Just add. Now, click on this again. Click on the room again. Highlight over and click. Okay? This time round, however, after you designate your very first number, you will realize that Rabbit will auto detect and we will add a subsequent number to it. So if you add it, you change it to 1, it will become 2. And then 3, henceforth, so on and so forth from there. Not that it's a big deal, it can be changed. But um, as a matter of fact, there must always be a sequential number, serial number to it. Okay?